Hello to the members and friends of First Lutheran Church. I hope you all are well in this difficult and stressful time. We find ourselves not only plagued by illness, but also by strife and division and so much else going on in our country. So my prayers are with you. My prayers are for your peace of mind and your peace of heart, uh, that you rest in Christ in these stressful times. Your church council and uh, worship and music committee, together with many other uh, folks, have been working hard on a plan to uh, allow us to get back together in person to worship, something we've been looking forward to for quite some time. And so I'd like to explain to you uh, what that will look like and give you some direction about how you can participate in it. First of all, the date. Uh, we would like to start getting back together on June 13th. Now, you will notice that is a Saturday. What we're doing is we're going to have multiple services uh, spread out between Saturday and Sunday, and this is to diminish the number of people that are gathered together at one time, which is one of the things that the health department recommends us do. So we're going to have three services on Saturday afternoon and three services on Sunday morning. And what we're going to be asking you to do is to sign up for one of these services through a link that you will find in your e-blast. And I'll be going over uh, what that looks like in a minute. But you will sign up for one of these slots, and what we're going to have is 10 worship stations or communion stations uh, set up outside on the south side of our parking lot. So uh, we're doing that once again to lessen the number of people, but also so we can help keep that number as close to about 20 persons as possible, which is also why we're having the six services, uh, because that adds up to about the number we would get in worship on a regular Sunday morning. If we end up not having that many people sign up, we'll of course be making calls and switching things around, but that's what we're going with for now. The north side of the parking lot is going to be where you're going to come in from. There's two entrances on the north and one on the east side of the church. That east side is going to be coned off because right uh, near that entrance, right behind where the wall of the chapel is, is where we're going to be setting up our stations, where our outdoor altar and our ten stations for worship. So when you come in, make sure you come in and out by the north side, and there will be ushers there to direct you uh, in case you have any problems. So at each of these 10 stations, we're going to have communion set up so that you don't have to come up and uh, actually receive communion from someone's hand and, and run the risk of uh, infection. It's going to be already set up, and we're going to do that in a sanitary way as we can. You're going to have a, a, a chairs to match the number of people in your party uh, so that when you get there that uh, you can make yourself comfortable. These services are going to be at 4 p.m., 4.45 and 5.30 on Saturday, and 9, 9.45 and 10.30 on Sunday morning. And we're going to keep those services to half an hour. Uh, we're going to be doing word and sacrament only, no music to keep that service short. And of course, because we've been told that singing is one of the more dangerous things that we can do uh, in talking about the spread of virus. Um, in between those services, all the chairs and the tables on which the communion is set out are going to be sanitized by our ushers. Just to be uh, especially careful, even though we're going to be outdoors, we're going to be asking that every worshiper wear a mask. If you don't have a mask, we'll have a few extra there for you. And also, just to be safe, we're advising all folks to uh, sanitize their hands before and after worship as they come and go from their cars. Also, if you don't feel well, if you have had a fever, uh, if, you are, uh, if your immune system is compromised, we advise you it might be best if you uh, stay home. We will be continuing to offer online services for the time being for those who don't feel uh, led to participate in these face-to-face -face services. Um, a little bit now about how we're going to sign up. We're using a program called Sign Up Genius. And in your e-blast, there will be a link for you to click on. When you click on that link, if you scroll down, you will see that there will be 10 sign-ups for each worship service connected to those 10 
communion stations that we talked about, those seats with the communion set out, worship stations. So you will be able to sign up for one of those uh, 10 slots for each of those, uh, each of those six services, whichever one you feel led to attend. Each family unit is one station, not each individual. So if there are four people in your family, sign up for one worship station, and as you click on that link, it'll ask you how many people are in your party, and then Dudley and I will be able to look at that and be able to know how many chairs and how many um, uh, servings of communion to set out for that station for each service. So if you have any problems signing up, if you have any problems using that Sign Up Genius program, please do not hesitate to call me or the church office or shoot me an email. And we'll guide you through it. Please do not let uh, any confusion about the program stop you from attending worship if you feel so led. So this is kind of the plan we've put together. It's based on uh, some of the work we've done with a, a, an infectious disease specialist. All the information we've been able to gather from what's being put out by the, the CDC. Uh, we feel like this is the safest way that we can think about getting back together. We cannot ensure that there's no risk involved in this because as we know in these strange days, uh, anytime we, we leave home, we run some risk. But we think as a church uh, council, as a worship and music team, uh, uh, as your staff, that this is the safest way that we can think about uh, going about communing together again and uh, being together in worship. So we're very much looking forward to it. As I said, please don't hesitate to call if you have any questions and keep an eye out. Please do sign up as soon as you can for whichever worship slot you'd wish to attend so we can start our planning process on this end. And uh, we look forward greatly uh, to worshiping our Lord together again. Thank you.